Let me look at us, you guys. Together, alas, eating. Mm. Mushroom sauce. It's so simple. It's so simple, but it's so good. I can't wait to hear you guys' feedback today. I, uh, I have been filming this whole week without any, without talking to any of you guys, so it's been so weird. Um, so I cannot wait to get all these videos out to you and get to talking to you guys in the comments because I have missed you. Um, and we'll see how this goes. We'll see how an upload a day goes. Maybe you guys will get sick of me. Hello, hello, strawberry. Let's take a bite. Mmm, look at that. Hey you guys, so we're gonna start off with the chocolate covered strawberries. I suggest doing this first because you do it and just kind of get it out of the way and then you can do other things while it is cooling in the fridge. So I'm gonna start with a double boiler. Um, I'm doing this so that I don't burn my chocolate but you can also put this in the microwave 30 seconds at a time and just kind of um, stop it every 30 seconds to stir it you don't want to leave it in there for a super long time because you will burn your chocolate so just keep an eye on it if when you're working with chocolate so basically all i'm going to be doing is melting this until it's um all the way melted and heated through and um i'm going to be taking my strawberries now i picked out all of the biggest ones with the leaves the green leaves attached and i did that for one reason or two reasons one because it looks more appealing and two because when you dip the chocolate you want to use you want to use the little green um leaves to help you dip it and i washed all of my strawberries and made sure they were dried completely because if you put chocolate if you try to dip it the water um won't let the chocolate stick and then you'll make a watery mess out of your chocolate and I dip them and I place them on parchment paper. And I'm trying to show this to you guys in the best way I can. So what I do is I put it on the parchment paper, but before it dries, I tr move it to another separate piece of parchment paper so that you don't have, um, when the strawberry completely dries, you don't have that little puddle of chocolate underneath. So now I'm going to be doing my white chocolate. I'm gonna heat up my white chocolate the same way. And I'm gonna be adding a little food coloring to it. I wanted it to be pink, but it wasn't pink enough. Uh, you could just leave it white. You don't have to add this. You can have it any color you want. Um, you can actually, you can also split the batch in half, the white chocolate batch and do half pink. You can do red, you can do whatever colors you want. Uh, but I decided to go with pink. And then after that, you guys, I take it off the heat and then I'm going to add it to one of my bags. You can add it to a sandwich bag, um, one of these piping bags that I cut in half. And then eventually I actually stopped using the, I stopped using the little piping bag and I went to a parchment paper. I forgot what these were called. Um, I used to make them all the time, but I forgot. The chocolate will be hot. Be careful of that, be mindful of that, you guys. Um, but you wanna work quickly so that your chocolate doesn't solidify and you can't spread the chocolate on the other chocolate. And you guys, I don't know why I was struggling with this because I, I have no clue why I was struggling with this. But what you wanna do is like, if the chocolate is downward and you try to drizzle it, the chocolate will go downwards. But if you tilt the chocolate strawberry a little bit up, it'll go straight. I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to make sense, but you guys will see what I'm talking about. So I basically stopped, got my parchment, and then had to do it over again. And I wanted to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. And then after that, I just put those on my plate and I put them in the fridge. So 
So now we're gonna start the Brussels times, super easy. I just take off the little um, stem. I remove a little sliver. I don't remove, I don't take a big chunk because you don't want all your leaves to fall off your Brussels. So you just wanna take a little sliver of the stem off just to clean that up and then cut them in half. And after that, I am going to do a few pieces of garlic and I'm gonna do some fresh thyme as well. And then I'm gonna do oil, salt, and pepper. That's it, it's super simple. It comes out really delicious, but if you wanna add your own seasonings, whatever seasonings you wanna add, be my guest. Um, like I said, I'm trying to keep this super simple. And after that, I roasted it at 425 until they were all nice and charred, which you guys will see um, during the mukbang part. And you guys, I was eating them like chips. I love roasted Brussels sprouts. I love them so much. So now I'm gonna be chopping up everything I need for my risotto and for my mushroom sauce. So I'm doing a shallot and garlic in both, minced shallot and minced garlic in both. And on an onion and mushrooms for the sauce, uh, pretty straightforward. And I'm leaving the chopping sounds in for all you guys who love the chopping sounds. So after I'm done with that, I'm gonna squeeze some lemon. Um, so start with like just one tablespoon. You don't want it to be too lemony, just enough. And so I'm gonna start my risotto. This is a fairly easy process, um, but you have to be patient. You want your risotto to come out nice and creamy, so you don't wanna rush it and you don't wanna do this too fast. You don't wanna do this step too fast. Just a little bit of patience and it won't take very long at all. So what you're gonna do is heat up your chicken stock or water. Um, chicken stocks add more flavor, so definitely if you can get your hands on some stock, do some stock. But you're gonna heat up your chicken stock. You don't wanna add cold stock to your rice. It won't cook properly. So once you have that, I am going to cook my shallots and my garlic for a minute or two. And then I'm going to add my rice and I'm gonna cook the rice through as well. And then I'm going to add some fresh rosemary and thyme. I didn't chop it or peel it because I'm being lazy and I just, I wanted the flavor of it, but I didn't wanna chop it up. You wanna add your lemon and cook that off. 
And then after that, you're gonna ladle in your chicken stock very slowly. You wanna do this like one scoop at a time. And as soon as it, it's absorbed in the rice, you wanna add another scoop. And you wanna have your heat on low. I kept playing with my heat, turning it on, turning it off. Um, but have your heat, start on low. Start on like low, mid-low. And you wanna add your stock a little bit at a time. And then when it's absorbed, you add a little bit more and then a little bit more. And that's what you guys are gonna see until it's all the way cooked through. So make sure you're trying it along the way to make sure when to stop with your stock. and it is really good. At the end, I add a handful of parm or like a pinch, I guess, of parm and I fold that in and it was just so, so good. All right, now you guys, I am gonna start the mushroom sauce. Super straightforward. Just, I did two tablespoons of butter and a little bit of oil so that the butter doesn't burn as quick. And then I'm gonna add my garlic and shallots and cook those for a minute. Then I'm gonna add my onions, cook those, and my mushroom and cook those. And as soon as the mushrooms are visibly cooked through, I am going to add my cream. I didn't measure this out. I didn't measure this out, but I wanna say it was a cup, maybe a little bit more, like a cup and a half. And then I also added beef stock. I wasn't going to add it. Otherwise I would have did the beef stock first and then the cream, but I decided to add a little bit of beef stock just to like, you know, pump up that flavor a little bit. So as soon as I start to see, like when I put the spatula to the pan, if it doesn't come back as quickly, then that means I wanna stop it because as soon as it cools down a little bit, the sauce will even uh, thicken up even more. And after that, I'm gonna do my steak real quick. This is New York strip steak. Um, you can do any steak you want. But I'm gonna heavily salt and pepper this because during a cooking process, when you cook steak, your salt cooks off as well. So you wanna make sure that your steak is, is well seasoned. Um, and like I said, I am more on the simple side with my steak. I like it to just be the flavor of the steak. So I just do salt, pepper, and that's good for me. But like I said, feel free to add whatever you like. And then you're gonna get your pan. I'm doing cast iron skillet because it always makes a beautiful crust. But you're gonna get your cast iron skillet or whatever skillet. You're gonna pour your oil in. You're gonna make sure it is screaming hot. Once it starts to smoke, that's how you know it's ready. Make sure that it is very hot. And as soon as you place your steak in the pan, you just wanna leave it alone. You wanna leave it alone and let the, the, the crust develop. So about three minutes. I'd say three to four minutes, you leave it there. And then you flip it and you do the same for the other side and cook it to your uh, preference. Three to four minutes on each side for me is perfect. It's like medium, medium rare. Um, so go a little bit longer if you want it to be more done. So turn down your heat if you want it to cook a little bit more to get to well. And then after that, I let it rest for 15 minutes um, and then cut it. And as soon as, I see, in, as soon as I cut it, you guys see that the juice isn't running out. That means I let it rest for a decent amount of time so that the juice didn't just make a mess everywhere and retained inside of the meat. 
and that's it you guys um i will see you guys in the mukbang part i am super happy you guys joined me if you guys are still here leave me some mushrooms down in the comments below and i will see you in the mukbang part my gosh anyway <laughs> welcome back you guys welcome back to the channel welcome back lou crew as you guys can see from the title today we are going to be eating valentine's day dinner together yes you heard that correct i'm thirsty as hell hold on i decided to be fancy and put my water in a wine glass because we're getting fancy today for our dinner anyway you guys um yeah so it's super simple as a matter of fact i wanted to do something super simple for valentine's day if it's just going to be for yourself for your boyfriend for your girlfriend for your friend it doesn't need to be just a couple's dinner this is just something super quick that i whipped up because you know i don't really like to put too much effort on valentine's day so basically what i have is a risotto very simple risotto i didn't do mushroom i didn't do all that i did what i had which was um just plain just regular thyme and rosemary that's all you need the simple the better so i just did a very simple risotto i did some new york strip steak and some roasted roasted brussels sprouts and then a mushroom sauce back here i'll bring up close just a mushroom sauce back here and then uh yeah that's it and then i got these chocolate covered strawberries very simple to make you guys um if you're just trying to keep it keep it uh simple not too crazy so i did that anyway let's take our first bite because i'm hungry and i'm ready to eat well i don't want a fatty i don't want to do a very fatty piece i'm gonna take from up here because you guys you guys yeah all right, I don't normally eat steak, so <laughs> I ate steak two times this week, carne asada fries. Dip it into the mushroom sauce. Look at this risotto, so creamy. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't even know if you guys can see me. You can. My hair looks so flat on my head today, y'all. <laughs> so, you guys know that I am mushroom sauce. That is so good. All right, let's get a bite with a risotto. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's so simple. It's so simple, but it's so good. Like, I don't even... I think I'm gonna just drizzle this mushroom sauce. I have to cut some of this up. I'm just gonna cut it down the middle. Look at us, you guys. Together, alas, eating. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. 
Y'all, it was such a process to set up. It was such a process. Because obviously, you know, I got to set up so that y'all can see the food. But normally if I were just going to plate this, I would do one plate of just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and some steak and some sauce. But since I'm trying to make it look so you guys can see everything, I didn't want to just have a little plate. So I was like, man, this is about to look crazy. This is about to look crazy. Let's take the not so fatty pieces back here. This risotto is so, it's lemony. So what I did was I made it, I made the risotto lemony. I made the risotto lemony so that <clears throat> so that when we when I was eating it it wasn't so like I don't know what's the word I'm looking for heavy I guess I mean this is heavy it's a heavy meal You guys, this is the last video I'm filming for the week. Oh, this is the last video I'm filming for the week. And um, this is the best way to end it. I'm filming, this is the last video of the week, but I'm gonna be uploading this <clears throat> for the first video, I think, because just in case anybody wanted to make this, they wanted to make this on Friday, when's Valentine's Day, Friday? Just in case anybody wanted to make it, I wanted them to be able to have time to see the video. I'm thinking about you guys. But yes, it's been a full week. Mm -hmm. It's been a full week of filming. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I am freaking so excited to upload these videos for you guys. I'm so excited. <clears throat> this is the first time in a long time I think I've been very consistent and I'm very proud to be doing that and to have did that for you guys. Rice is just so creamy. You guys probably can't even tell, but it's so creamy. It's creamy, lemony, 
fresh herbs. Very good. Anyway, you guys. And also, do you notice that I have these gargantuan lashes on? Y'all, I ordered the wrong lashes. I ordered the wrong lashes. They're, little they're a little too big for me. So, but I had to make do. I had to make do. Bite. Mm. I was snacking on the Brussels sprouts when I was um, when I was uh, making them when they came out of the oven. They're like they're like candy. They're like candy, you guys. Cutting off the fatty pieces. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was a big piece of steak. You guys are gonna see. You guys are gonna see when, <clears throat> if you are, actually you are gonna, <laughs> when you watch the, um, when you watch the mukbang part, you'll see how big these are. Or you already did see how big they are. How big the steaks are. I have one right underneath this one. <clears throat> yummy, yummy. Nice creamy mushroom sauce. Mm. Mm. I thought about putting the, um, Mushroom sauce or the mushrooms and the risotto. But since I made this mushroom sauce, I should have had to prop these propped up like that. So you can see them so they're not like back here here let's try to prop them up half i'm already done i'm like let's prop them up big facts i should have did that this whole time i am i wasn't thinking y'all hey 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 now what i ate all that Dang, where is it? Oh, dang, I ate all of it. That's a, this is my last piece. All the other pieces are fatty, are super fatty. I'm trying not to dip my steak in this sauce, but I just love it, so good. Mm, 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 mm. -mm. I think we are ending the week right, even though this is going to be the beginning of the week for you guys. <clears throat> it is Sunday, so you guys are going to see this tomorrow. Hopefully, if I get it edited enough, edit it, edit it in time. I don't think we can forget the strawberries. Hello, hello, strawberry. Let's take a bite. So a little thing on the strawberries, you guys. Mmm, look at that. 
here my son Aiden has already eaten like five of them they are good so I used to make these strawberries like chocolate covered strawberries I used to have to make I used to work for a hotel so I had to make chocolate covered strawberries as a um, what is that thing I don't want to say provision but like when you get in your room and there's like chocolate treats or whatever i used to make these <clears throat> for people that were checking in and at the hotel you would have like a little chocolate covered strawberry waiting for you when you checked in and i used to make them and um yeah i used to be like so anal about how they looked mm. they are juicy You guys know I'm not big on sweets. That's why I chose to do something super simple. It was between this and a cake, but I wanted to make the most simple thing I could make. I wanted to make the most simple dinner, a dessert that you could whip up on Valentine's Day just for yourself, for anybody, for your, for your boyfriend, for your girlfriend, whatever. I wanted it to be super simple and this is simple and easy and really, really good. And these strawberries are so juicy. And they're just the right amount of tart. I picked the biggest strawberries I could find. I picked the biggest ones. Go back up there. I picked the biggest strawberries I could find. And they're so juicy and tart and sweet. One more. This one's huge. I'm gonna save that one for Aiden. Even though he's had like a billion of them already. Yeah, I used to want to be a chocolatier too. I don't know if I've told you guys that, but when I started culinary school, I wanted to be a chocolatier first. That was like my goal. I wanted to work with chocolate. I wanted to be in chocolate. The very first job I applied for was at Rocky Mountain Chocolate. I think it's called Rocky Mountain Chocolate. I was so crushed when they didn't call me because I was like, I really want to be a chocolatier. I was like, look guys, I'm going to school for it. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. Look how pretty. really good mm. yeah I hope you guys make this mmm Almost tart. Mm. Wow. That was good, you guys. That was really good. I'm super glad if you guys are still here. Um, if you guys are still here, leave me some steak emojis. Ooh, but did I do that for the carne asada fries? Mm -mm. Okay, leave me some strawberry emojis if you guys are still here for the chocolate covered strawberries. And um, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I hope that you guys have an amazing week. I hope that <clears throat> you have an amazing Valentine's Day. Either way it goes, I am glad you guys came to join me with eating. Um, Cause that was good. 
That was delicious. I'm actually gonna be making another chicken dinner in celebration of my very first video hitting. My first video to hit a million was the chicken dinner. You guys love that. And it was so crazy because that day I was like, mm, they probably won't like this. It's too simple. No one's coming here to watch a simple, a simple dish like this. And you guys loved it. And I, I love hearing the feedback on how many of you guys made it. So I am going to try to scrounge out, scrounge up another super simple chicken dinner recipe. It was like, what, like five ingredients, give or take. It was like 30 minutes. It took me an hour to film it. So it was about 30 minutes to do. Um, really good. I really did like that dish. I might do it again, just eat it again. Either way it goes, I'm really, really happy that you guys joined me today. And I love you guys so much. I can't wait to hear you guys' feedback today. I uh, I have been filming this whole week without, any, without talking to any of you guys, so it's been so weird. Um, so I cannot wait to get all these videos out to you and get to talking to you guys in the comments because I have missed you. Um, and we'll see how this goes. We'll see how an upload a day goes. Maybe you guys will get sick of me. I don't know. Um, either way it goes, I will see you guys in the next 